Hello fellow app music makers, Jay here from App Music Tutorials. In my most recent video about overcoming the 8-bar limitation of the Zen Beat sequencer, I mentioned that I had noticed it was possible to record to a track in timeline view without the need to first prepare or arm the track. I notified Roland Corp through their tech support system a few days ago of this situation, and today I just happened to notice there was a new version of Zen Beats, and I happily loaded it to my computer and found that this issue still persists. So I wanted to take this opportunity to get the word out. In my opinion, this is a huge issue, especially if you create most of your songs in timeline view. Here, I have a project already loaded, and I will use this to demonstrate the issue. I wanna quickly mention that none of these tracks were armed when I recorded them. If you're already under the impression that you can record a track just by selecting it and clicking record, your chances of this flaw being an issue is minimized, and I do believe this is a flaw, because logically, there is the arm button. If you've ever used a digital audio workstation before, then you'd be under the logical impression that one must arm a track prior to recording a performance, which is the case in all the DAWs I've ever encountered. Um, so. Um, I've got this drum beat here made up of only kick and snare and I want to add hi-hats to it so I'll arm the track to prepare to record and uh, suppose at this point I want to double check something on another track before moving forward so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the funky keys track and let's suppose I've examined something and I'm you know I'm fine with the way it looks and I'm ready to continue. So then I'll record the hi-hats. Let's take a listen. So we can hear the hi-hats have been added to that clip. But then also notice that down below on track three, we have the same hits that were applied to our drum track. They showed up down below in track three because that was the track that happened to be selected at the time. So it does record to the arm track, but it also records to any other track that happens to be selected. Another thing about this is one might suspect we can simply undo our edits, but that's not really the case here. It'll undo certain things, like for instance, it rearmed the track. If I undo again, now I've not armed the track yet, now I'm back to the soloed state of the track, but none of the MIDI data, none of the recorded information is being removed in either the drum track or in track three. So I, I have knowledge of how to fix this, I can go right into the track by double clicking and I can just either press or click and drag and highlight the offending notes. And I can either hit my delete on the keyboard or I can go up to the actual editing options and choose the delete trash can. And that clears out those notes. So we discovered a couple of things. Uh, currently you don't need to arm a track in order to record. And the undo functionality in timeline view is limited. Undoing MIDI edits works just fine in Loop Builder view, however. But here in the timeline view, that functionality still needs work. So Roland, please, if you're watching this, uh, this issue needs to be resolved. I'll happily delete this video when that happens. And of course, viewers can always rely on app music tutorials to keep you updated on any significant changes and features in ZenBeats. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please leave it in the comments area. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more app music videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and take care until next time.